I'm showing you the process so you can mimic it for other ROS versions as well, okay? Now, ROS install Ubuntu 20.04. Let's see what suggestions does it gives. ROS Noitic installation, okay? The concept that I gave you about ROS 1 dependencies on Ubuntu version. This is the simple page that I am going to follow and it is going to install ROS. It's that simple. We need to copy these commands and paste it inside of our terminal. Provide the password and we are done then. I am copying it by selecting Control C to copy. To paste it, I have to press Control Shift V in the terminal. Okay, And then this command as well. And after that, we have certain options, desktop full, desktop or raw space. We are going to go with desktop full because we want full ROS installation in our system, which involves gazebo and some very necessary packages of ROS. Once it is done, then we will be setting up our paths and linkages for ROS. Okay. And uh, while it is performing this, it is going to take a little bit of time depending upon the internet connection I am going to run this command not this one this whole command which is going to make our life very easy what this command is going to do let me paste it and let me show you what just happened press ctrl h to show hidden files in your home folder there will be a file dot bash rc now you can see this line has been added at the end of this uh, this text file which is bash rc what it is whenever we want to run ROS we need to source the setup of ROS where ROS is installed we have to source it create linkage with it from our system whenever we open up a terminal this bash rc file is going to be executed every line of it okay so when I open a terminal this is going to be executed and with this last line it is going to create a link with ROS. If I don't add this last line I have to manually add in all the terminals I open for ROS which is going to take a lot of time. So I am going to add it and after some time we need to add another line which will make things clear for us. Let's take a look on the installation is it done 89% and what other things do we need to install hmm, there are other things as well so our installation of ROS is complete and uh, there are certain extra things that we have to do to make it work properly which are known as dependencies so I'm going to copy the command paste it and it is again requiring some space do it I don't care and then this line as well and I'll paste it the main point here is I just need to copy and paste things and they are going to be executed and ROS is going to be installed. Why I am showing you this? Because if you want to solve something related to ROS, you should not ask me. The developers of ROS have provided it open source. You can look into the code and you can solve it through ROS wiki. This thing is going to make a little bit more clear when we will write our first code. So things are installed. Let's run the next command and we need to initialize ROS dev then we need to update ROS dev list this is the complete process of installation ROS Noitic on your system after this line completes we are going to verify the ROS installation and up till now the commands that I have copied and pasted are the only thing you don't need to install these things because we have installed desktop you don't need to run these commands these are just examples to install ROS packages let me show you ROS sudo apt install ROS Noitic it is not showing ROS Noitic right now because I haven't written apt properly Noitic and we have 2284 2284 possibilities meaning 2000 and 2,284 packages we can choose any one of it to install they have given us the option of slam packaging I'm not interested in that I will be interested in joint state publisher joint publisher 
gui and the simple one both of them are required so star joint state publisher has been installed and i want robot state publisher as well which is going to be required in the next lectures but i am installing it right now so our ROS installation is complete let's check open up the terminal and we are going to write ROS code and you can see ROS distro noitech ROS version this is running so our ROS is installed and uh, if I give you a little bit context to that line that we added if I comment this out or cut it from this bash rc file close the terminal and let's open up again and I write raw score it is going to say I don't know where raw score is or what is raw score so we provide the source to the raw score raw installation of Noitec and then we write raw score it finds that in it runs it now if I open up another terminal and say raw score it says I don't know the path so I paste it again and then perform raw score or ROS anything related to ROS so to save you from this hassle we paste this sourcing command into this file uh, bash rc file with this um, command that I copied and pasted and uh, whenever I open up a terminal this line automatically gets executed and it runs they have given you a warning if you have more than one ROS distro installed now bash rc must only source of your ver version you are currently working so we are only dealing with ROS Nordic so that's not a big problem I know you might be curious to get started into ROS programming of robots but these things are literally very essential and a lot of errors come because of these things and people don't understand why they are coming 